If we go to Romans chapter 6, we actually see this phrase of walking in a newness of life. Therefore, we are buried with him by baptism into death, that like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. It's almost this taking of what happened in Christ's life and saying, how do we do what Christ did? Yeah, the image here I think is really beautiful and connected to our own experience of baptism. Mm -hmm. For Paul, the baptismal imagery revolves around this experience of being buried in the water, of dying, and then beginning a newness of life. But I think the key to the, to the newness of life that's being offered here is that when, I, when I'm buried in the water and I die, and start a new life, the life that I'm now living is no longer mine. It's Christ living in me. I, by way of my baptismal covenants, take his name upon me, and I begin to live a life with him in me. Uh, and I begin to live for and in behalf uh, of Jesus Christ, right? So that he's the one living in and through me, and this new life is a life uh, that's no longer my own, but one that's shared. Mm -hmm.